How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the finale of the Polarities uh, series. It's been so fun so far, but we still have to defeat Moon Lord. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And also, I'm going to be taking on the Polarities again um, several times because we do need to, or at least a few. I want to get the weapons and the armor sets, try them out, and then use them on Moon Lord. So before we get to that, I did say I would chest out the Celestial Storm with these Venom Darts. So here they are. It looks pretty good. I haven't done it on a boss yet, but I mean, maybe we'll try it out on Polarities and kind of see how that goes. But anyways, let's check out some of these boss, or not bosses, some of these drops. So I want to try the, uh, I think the, it's called the Railgun, right? Yeah. Um, so we're going to need a Sniper Rifle. I think I can use tokens to get that. Yeah. So we'll do that. That'll save us a little bit of time. And Railgun. So that, this is, I'm excited for It's a lot of base damage. Accelerates bullets to insane speeds via the power of magnets. So this could be, uh, oh, bad reforge. That's tough. <laughs> uh, this could be pretty cool. Let's just try it out before we get a good reforge. Okay, so it's just, uh, yeah, it's just like a sniper rifle, um, but very, very fast. Uh, with Chlorophyte, I don't think the speed really matters, but it's cool, it's cool. And the, the damage is really high, so could be interesting i don't know if it's gonna be better than this even though to be honest um but okay let's uh let's see what else we can get oh this is uh, another ranged weapon two projectiles encased in force fields that's kind of cool let's try that one let's try that one uh because right now i've got a range set so if we're gonna be farming this boss might as well try the range i'm getting really bad luck oh that's cool <laughs> and so it's like an atlatl but it uses this as the uh as the uh, projectile that's really cool. Oh, it uses... Does it use darts? Oh, no, it does. I'm just getting lucky. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, oh, there was another one. It was a missile charger. Now that I think about it, these are probably... That's pro would have probably been the best um, <laughs> one to go for. But that's all right. That's all right. It's fine. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, so let's try these out. Uh, it's, not, it's not good for this boss fight, I think. Um... Yeah, I don't think I want to be using that. <laughs> and same with this. This is pretty underwhelming too, unfortunately, in terms of damage. Um, or maybe the Draconians is really good. I don't know. Okay, let's try this thing. I think the the common thing is the we these weapons are sort of hard to use practically um, and to aim, and the damage isn't very amazing. So I don't think I should really focus on it, to be honest. Um, but we're getting destroyed. <laughs> All right, see, it's like it's it's not an easy fight. It's not an easy fight. <laughs> Even, I mean, I still don't understand it completely, admittedly. Um, but it's it's a pretty tricky fight. So I'm actually gonna be here a while. Oh, I never noticed this animation at the end. That's cool, dude. I don't know. Somehow people got the that like this fight wasn't that crazy from that last episode but i just don't get how you would oh that's so cool <laughs> nice okay we got a little we got some summons going on uh what does this do okay just uh just kind of a standard magic weapon as far as i can tell just some different projectiles kind of like um oh i think they might track actually um so interesting there i don't think we got much else um and we definitely don't have enough to get more Things and by things I mean like armor. So we're just gonna start again. Okay, we did it again. It's weird that that can even happen where uh, you kind of skip that last phase because I think that's like that's the most important part, <laughs> right? Uh, and you can kind of just skip it, which is sort of sad in a way. Um, but yeah, whatever. I guess it's fine. Uh, we got electric wings. Oh. They don't look any... They obviously look different, but they don't... doesn't look like it's uh, better. They seem kind of the same. Arc Bolter. Oh, I like this. I think if we do one or two more... Uh, if we defeat it one or once or twice more, we should be able to have this, I think. It's still a struggle. It's still a struggle. Really, really cool fight. Um, oh, this looks... <laughs> Okay, that's cool. That is... <laughs> that's a really cool weapon. Wow. <laughs> Again, everything's just so unique, man. 
I love it. It's a very nice change of pace. Nice, okay. I think they need a... I feel like they need to make it so that the boss fight... Um, it doesn't... Because right now what's happening is I'm killing the boss fairly consistently. I'll see if there's an update. I don't think there is, but... Uh, I'm killing the boss fairly consistently before it has a chance to go to that phase. So I think it needs to activate based on how much health it has left. Because... Or give it an immunity at some point or something. I don't know. Just because I'm, like, consistently skipping that last phase. And it's not even like I'm doing crazy insane damage. Um... Like, I'm in the fight for a decent amount of time, I feel like. But I'm still able to do that. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe they want it to be like that, but I can't imagine why. <laughs> but, I don't know. That's just a, just a suggestion. Because that's one thing that is happening. It's a really cool, like, final attack. But I don't have um, to deal with it. <laughs> so, I don't know. But there it is. Okay, I think we've kind of looked over most of the weapons, if not all of them. But I want to make the armor and uh, use it at the end. So electric. And there's two different versions. There's, I think one's going to be tank and the other one's going to be damage, I would guess. So we kind of want to do both and have both, right? Okay, so we have high tech gear here. We already have the boots. Let's get the chest piece. Um, oh, it's full. So yeah, it's not even going in there. Okay, so there is the helmet for the big boost to damage, but then there, or no, there's both. <laughs> uh, there's the helmet and the visor. I don't even know if I should have got both of those because I definitely am going the damage route, like without a doubt. <laughs> but let's put this on. Um, so a little tiny defense increase. You emit rings of damaging sparks on striking enemies. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, that's cool. I think what happens is... Yeah, when you, depending on what helmet, I, <laughs> that's really cool. Um, so see how it's half and half here? Well, depending on what helmet you put on, will change the complete um, look of your gear. Now, to be honest, I actually like the red set better, the look of it. But I think the, I like the damage more so. Is, does the set bonus change too? It does. Grants a defense boost that gradually increases while attacking enemies. Uh, this bonus is reset on getting hit. That's... That's kind of neat as well, actually. Okay, so we have this accessory. This is the expert mode exclusive one, right? Um, so we can use a hotkey to... Hold on, what does it do? <laughs> Teleport to the point opposite of your cursor. That's going to be weird to wrap my head around. <laughs> so we put it here. Oh, we still... Okay, okay, we still also get the debuff, obviously. Uh, the chaos state type of thing. That's gonna be so weird to figure out, dude. <laughs> That's a neat accessory. I don't imagine I'll be using it that much, but it's a really cool effect. Um, and a nice idea. Out of all of those teleportation accessories, that's the one I would see myself using the most. Because all the others are just kind of like... You could just write up Discord. Um, Rod of Discord usually has better benefits, but obviously Rod of Discord is kind of rare, so it makes sense why you might not want to do that. Alright, so we're going to check out this ball lightning um, weapon, because this sounds cool. That is very cool. <laughs> that is very, very cool. Um, and when it... Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's a keeper right there. I like that one. <laughs> I'm just I feel like um, I just feel like magic weapons they're able to get a lot more creative with um, just because of the nature of the the class like that is really amazing okay so far my favorite for sure uh, we can also get the death attractor sounds great uh, oh, in fact we already did I kind of forgot okay uh Oh, I, I didn't even notice what was happening. Okay. Okay, so if I use it in the light, you'll see that there's like... Does that come from off screen? It's such a dark accessory, I can't even tell. Yeah, it does. Wow. Okay, that's just a very cool weapon uh, as well. I, again, I think the magic weapons are... That's why I'm surprised there wasn't a nebula um, pillar weapon. Because that just seems like... It just seems like everything in this mod is like so 
magic heavy and interesting. Um, so, or not magic heavy, but like all the magic weapons have been really cool. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a little, like a little fan. <laughs> Grace and electric, electron cloud. Huh. Cool. That's a, that's a cool looking one. I don't know how strong it is, but it's a cool yo-yo. So after the missile charger, the only thing we haven't tried is electric edge. Oh, and then there's all these accessories. So let's just try this. Because I feel like that could be actually very strong as well. Okay, I want to try out this weapon. Um, that could be strong. I don't know what the... She's homing. Oh, they're homing. Okay, yeah. very Probably very strong. Uh, so definitely want to keep... Uh, see what that's like. Wow, I just can't get over that accessory. I don't know. Again, I don't know how strong all these weapons are in practice. But uh, they're really cool. So we did that. We did that. We did that. Uh, electric edge. Did I ever get that one? It's not very expensive, but I think we're going to need some stuff. Electric edge. Oh, we do have enough. Wow. Okay. Just barely. Okay. So that is all of the... Those are all the weapons. There are some... There's some ammunition, which I want to try out. But then there's also... Yeah, the only difference is ammunition. And there's also um, the lightning core. I just want to try the lightning core now. Uh, how much is that? Yeah, we just got to do one more. Um, oh, those track afterwards too? Or maybe they don't. I can't tell. <laughs> electric charger. Or electric edge. Okay, this is cool. That's cool. I like this one. <laughs> that one's fun to use. Um, okay, so I'm going to do... Let's do one last attempt on this. Or hopefully it's our last one. We're going to do another attempt. And this will be for the last accessory, the last unique accessory, because there is a really cool a storm cloud, storm cloud fish accessory at the very start of the game. Um, and I think it'd be nice to kind of see what that looks like upgraded. So I want to try this, see what it's like. Damage is solid. I still think Draconia is better, <laughs> though. Or is it? Maybe it's not, actually. It could easily not be. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> what about this? Um, maybe. I don't know. It's not about tracking weapons, man. The fact that you can just completely focus on uh, dodging is just too good for me to give up. Oh, we are really bursting it down now. Okay, I should have focused on getting the armor. Because this makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait, I want to be close. Oh, damn it. Oh, I should be shooting you. <laughs> wow, we, yeah, see, we killed it before. We killed it so fast, which now it's fine. Now I'm completely fine if we kill it really quick because we've already beaten the boss. Um, so these weapons should be able to do that. But beforehand, we were kind of doing the same thing. Oh, nice. We got both the masks now. Um, before oh does that change the color? Oh, that's cool. The mask does the same thing. It changes the color to whichever one you're doing. That's really cool. Or no, it doesn't work. Never mind. Never mind. I wish it did. That'd be such a cool idea. If when you have the mask on, it triggers the right thing. I was being dumb. It's because we already had the blue set on. <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay. So just the lightning core. It's the only thing I want left in this playthrough. Lightning core. Okay, so it says attracts and supercharges schools of friendly cloudfish, gradually filling up your available minion slots. I don't think we have many minion slots available to begin with, but uh, that's okay. Let's see what this looks like. So they're supercharged. Oh, they they definitely look different. Okay, I couldn't find an enemy, so we are just going to do this. I think that's the uh, best way to go for it. Oh, something just happened. <laughs> Wait, do they projectiles now? Oh, no, they changed forms. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, that is pretty good. <laughs> I feel like most of that was just a set bonus, but it's still cool. Okay, so I'm not going to use any of those weapons. I just want to try out our new, our new stuff. Um, so, because we've already done the pillars, what we should be able to do... 
I am hoping we have enough for a Celestial Emblem. That's kind of the goal, because I'd rather not do uh, Pillars again, although I will if I have to. And I think uh, Fargo's makes it easy on us, but still... Nice. Okay, it's right here. Oh, before we before we forget, hold on, we gotta check the book. We have to check the book. Um, cause you to repel enemies. Oh. That is interesting. Uh, how does that work? <laughs> Hold up. Uh, I don't- I feel like it won't work on bosses, so I won't bother. Um, alright. Let's go find- Oh, whoa, that's weird. Okay. Alright, so I think... I'm going to do an, an event. Let's just do, like, Goblin Army real quick. Because I want to try out this book for you guys. Because I think it's going to be pretty interesting to look at. Um, so, yeah, here we have our little invasion spot. Like, if you look at this, look how far he goes, dude. <laughs> Hold on, where's the summoner? All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's got to be, like, the most fun uh, book to play around with. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's enough of that. Cool. Okay. Uh, the Goblin Army's done. I think all that's left to do is to uh, take on Moonlord. It, the book does not work on bosses. I looked it up just to make sure. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we can't do that against Moonlord, but that's okay. I'm just curious to see. Uh, let's take this off for that, um, just because I think uh, we're not going to be only using. Ranger. In fact, I don't think we're using any Ranger stuff. Um, cool. So yeah, we are gonna we're gonna end this playthrough off. Wow, it's been so fun. Uh, we'll talk about what we're gonna do on the channel after uh, after we beat Moonlord. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's uh, let's let's do this. I mean, this alone is just pretty crazy. <laughs> just holding it. <laughs> I wonder if it's more beneficial to do this. Probably not, but. It looks kind of insane. Watch this just like obliterate Moonlord. <laughs> oh, it did. Wait, how much did? <laughs> Wait, it literally did. Okay, hold on. I want to take out uh, this this hand with it. Oh, never mind. My uh... wow. Okay, either it's just really good, or um. Honestly, I can't tell what's doing what. Like, all our weapons are just <laughs> crazy good. Uh, but let's try and do this. Oh, we're almost dead. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, let me do some of this. <laughs> wait, we have no tank. What? <laughs> wait. <laughs> this is not how this was supposed to go. This was not how this was supposed to go at all. Um, but that's all good. Let's wait for the big laser. Wow, okay, we just straight up died. <laughs> okay, okay, that didn't happen. Y'all didn't see that. All right. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, no. No, I just realized what that means. Do we have to do pillars now? I think so. Hold on. I think. Oh, hi. Hello. I think we have to do pillars, because there's no way we can get another one, right? No. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. Um, again, the good thing is, I think our buddy here is going to help us out. And, yeah, for 75 gold, though. So, we're going to have to sell some things. All right, well, the good news is we get more time to show off what this, uh, what this weapon can do. Or these weapons, rather. What they can do. So, that's great, right? It's amazing. So, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this over here. Um, and yeah, so this is from Fargo's. We just get to, um, oh, I really like this. I really like that one. Oh, this used to, did they change this? I feel like they used to, um, I feel like I didn't have to fight enemies last, like before when I used to do this. Although maybe I'm wrong. That one just spawned in like already completed for some odd reason. I feel like this might be our best weapon. <laughs> to be honest. Because the thing is, it doesn't... For some odd reason, it... it uh, 
you can just keep on... Well, I guess it's, it's like the other ones, but you can just keep on adding to this thing infinitely. And you just get like this hailstorm, like this blizzard of projectiles. And it seems really good. And then whenever you... <laughs> when you go to actually hit something with it, it, uh, it just one taps. So that's pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, I can just do like this. I'm af slightly afraid my game's gonna crash while doing this, but like, it's effective, man. It is very effective. <laughs> like, look how fast that's going down. I'm not even around it. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I found my favorite weapon. I think I have my favorite weapon. Like, not only is this gonna be insane for events, but like, for bosses too. <laughs> Oh my god, that's great. I think as of now, this beats out any... anything. Just because of the crazy one-hit potential, the insane crowd control, and just the, uh, the ability to quickly target anywhere you want. The only thing is, uh, it does lag your game out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if your system maybe isn't the strongest, it might be hard to, uh, run this. I'm sure there's a maximum amount, right? Right? Like, there's no way it just keeps on building right now. Oh, yeah, if you look... If you look, I don't... It's not actually firing before. <laughs> We're at the max officially. Before, when we, uh... Every time we threw out our, our weapon, it would, uh... You would see it adjoin the, the clump, but... Or the cluster, but it's no longer doing that, so... It looks like it's, uh... It's at full capacity. So that's good. That's good that there's a full capacity. Um, <laughs> just so my game doesn't die. And I'm going to try and beat Moonlord with this. There we go. So that died like instantly. That's 20,000 health. <laughs> um, maybe we should just keep this up the whole time. Okay, we got a whole strat going on. <laughs> now just don't die is the thing. Oh no, the hand wants to get close to me. Okay. <laughs> That's gotta be better than what? Like, Last Prism, right? That's gotta be better. <laughs> right? Come on, look at that. <laughs> okay, here's the core. Oh, it didn't even want it. Wow. Wow, garbage weapon. <laughs> Trash. Didn't even want it, the, the core. <laughs> wow. What a crazy weapon to end off this playthrough. I know I was kind of a, that was kind of a meme. We do have a lot of cool weapons here as well, but uh, I just had to do that. I thought I was going to get a one hit on the core and it'd be all worth it, but it, we, we didn't. <laughs> so there you go. We have um, we have defeated... Uh, well, I guess we completed the, the mod, right? That's it. That's all there is. So, hope you guys enjoyed the series. Wow. What a, what a fantastic mod. I'm so glad I tried this out. Um, again, I know, I know I've said this a few times, but I wanted to try out a mod that hasn't really been covered that much. Um, but still has a lot of cool things, because I feel like there's quite a few of those out there. Um, and wow, this just completely blew my expectations out of the water. Like, everything about this mod has been so fantastic, so enjoyable. Very unique mod, very creative. Um, all of these bosses, many of these weapons are just extremely creative. Uh, creatively designed, and just so fun to use, man. Such a joy to use all these weapons, and, and, uh, the, the new subworld was really cool. Um, that's the first time I've seen that in a mod. Other mods do it as well. But yeah, just very, very, very happy with how all of this turned out, man. And uh, it seems like you guys all really were enjoying the series as well. So I appreciate all of you guys for that. Thank you, everyone that's uh, stuck with us through this this journey. Um, it's been great. But um, now, what are we doing next on this channel? Well, uh, we are going to jump into a Let's Play. At least, at least not like immediately. We're going to take, I don't know, a month or two off um of let's plays maybe i changed my mind this is completely subject to change but um what i've been noticing is i've been really caught up on getting these uh playthrough episodes out to you guys in a timely manner that it's kind of like invaded the rest of my life uh, a little bit so it's sort of all i've been able to focus on because i still have to do streams in between and continue my challenge playthroughs but that's kind of taken a back seat um throughout all of this and then of course the rest of my life as well besides just content creation has uh, been, it's been really tough to juggle everything. It's a, a little bit too much. But the thing is, I don't want to just do a playthrough where we only upload, say, once a week. Because 
I don't know, I feel like I need to be more consistent than that. And I don't want to just have one, only one episode every week. Because, yeah, it's just, it just feels like a little bit too long to wait. Um, and I'd prefer if it was how we, I like, I like the two episodes a week thing. I like that. Um, but again, it's just not quite sustainable for me right now. I got to make some adjustments and see where I can figure that out. Um, so we're going to take a little time off. That being said, obviously still going to be uploading on the channel. We're still going to be doing challenges. We're going to be doing other fun videos. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all you guys. Um, I think I already have an idea for which mod we're playing next, but, uh, feel free to, um, you know what? We're going to do a poll. We'll do a poll once, um, once I'm ready to come back to a playthrough, we're going to do a poll and I'll see what you guys want to do. I'll do some of the top picks, um, that get re recommended the most, but again, thank you all for w watching. Um, it's been such a fun series. I appreciate all of you guys, uh, sticking around till the end here. And uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.